This week on El Cara Ham Radio, we're going to take a look at a programming option for your Bofang and Clone HT radios. We've showcased Chirp and RT systems in some previous videos, and they still have their place. But we thought, why not try a Bluetooth dongle and a smartphone alternative? This week on El Cara Ham Radio. Alrighty, so what are we looking at today? This is the TED Radio Ham Radio Wireless Programmer. <laughs> now this is just a quick little Amazon uh, page just to show you some of the things it can do. Programming anywhere, one software can program multiple radios. Now when they talk about multiple radios here, we're really talking about Bofangs, a couple of the Radioddities, Redivis, uh, there's a few others that I'll show a little bit later. Now this is a Bluetooth dongle that you plug into the ports on the side of the Bofang. And uh, so it's plugging into the headset and the microphone jacks, and it can only plug in one way, which is kind of nice. Uh, it is going to utilize your smartphone radio. You can use an Android or you can use an Apple iPhone to program your Bofang. So let's get into some of the specifics of what comes into the packaging, and let's see how to get this thing programming your radio. Well, so first off, we have the user's manual. Now, it's called the OD Master, and uh, this uh, quick little getting started guide was pretty much all that I needed to get moving. Uh, there are the steps here on the left, middle, and right to show you how to plug things in, where to go get the app, and how to get the app set up so that you can begin programming. We'll have all of those steps coming up in just a few moments. The other thing about this little quick start guide, which is really all of the documentation that you get, is on the back side, there is a website that you can also use for remotely programming your radio. I could not get this working in my particular instance. Now, we're on my phone, and we're on the uh, Play Store, since I have an Android, and I'm gonna click the install there. And we're gonna begin the process of installing this app. Didn't take very long to download, it's not very large. And there we have it. Now we should get an open button and let's click open and see what happens. There's a little bit of setup at the beginning. You've got to accept the end user license agreement. Here it's asking, will you allow it to make phone calls? Now you might be wondering, why do I need that? There's actually another feature built into this software where you can actually group, communicate with others. And we're going to go through the registration process. Got to move the little tile piece around to unlock and uh, get things moving. It's going to ask me if I'm male or female. Not sure why they need that bit of information. And then you can actually put in your name here as a way to set up what is essentially a profile. One of the last things to set up are some uh, check boxes here on whether or not you want to get spammed. So I unchecked all of those. There we have it. Now, it does give you a little bit of a guide. I'll show you more of that in just a moment. Now, here's the Bluetooth dongle. When I first received this, it was dead as a doornail. So you do get a charging cable that we saw at the beginning. And I plugged that in, and it took about 45 minutes, maybe an hour, to charge up. And then uh, the red light went out, and I got a green light. Now, how do we plug this in to the radio? We're going to open up the side port on the Bofang. Most of the radios are set up this way. You'll notice one smaller than the other. Just line up the actual plugs and snap in. Now make sure you snap it in all the way and then turn on your radio. Now this radio has no channels actually programmed. The 136 that you see there and the 470 are just what comes with the radio. So we definitely don't have anything programmed in the radio. And uh, once we get done programming, we'll prove, you, prove to you that it actually did what it's supposed to. So you see the green light there on the Bluetooth dongle. We've got our radio powered on. Now we need to bring the phone back over and let's get into the software and see how easy it is to program your radio. Now, full disclosure here, 
it is not the easiest thing if you were starting with a brand new radio and you were having to put in all of your channels channels manually it's not really good for that and i think the website that i couldn't get to will probably help with some of that uh, i took one of my other radios and read from the radio with this dongle to get at least a starting point for programming other radios. Uh, can you program this by hand? Absolutely, but it would be a little bit tedious, although it'd be easier than going through the menus on the Bofang. What I'm looking at here is pairing up my phone with the Bluetooth dongle. You do not actually go through the Bluetooth app on your phone. You actually have to use the app here. Next, we're gonna pick and choose our radio. So you can see we've got several vendors listed there. I accidentally hit TID, but I'll get out of that in just a second. We'll get back to the main list. So again, we have Bofang, we got TID, we got uh, some that I'd never heard of. Radiodity I've heard of, Redivis I've heard of, Intech, Lueton. But we're gonna head back up and just click on Bofang. Just about all of these radios will are compatible with the UV5R. They do have a few other models there that you can choose from. And I'm looking on this particular one, it's a Merkit, but I couldn't actually find a model that it was trying to, uh, to be like. So I'm just gonna use the UV5R as a baseline. Alrighty, we are essentially ready to read from this radio. So let's uh, prop it up and click on read and you can see the progress bar on my smartphone as it reads not only the channels on the radio but also a lot of the uh, radio settings and we're done and this takes us back to a screen where you can begin to program now there's uh, some helper screens that you can utilize here's number one number two optional number three go back up a little bit here writing to the connected radio the receive transmit list where you can actually save configurations and uh, five, we're done. I'm gonna click confirm to get out of the help. And we're basically at the screen where you can begin to program your channels. Right now we have channel zero selected and you can see that 136.025 uh, frequency. It's not really programmed, it just came with the radio. Channel one's got nothing. Channel six got nothing. And you can see all the other settings below that for your tone and so forth. Transmit power and the like. So let's go back to channel zero. There we are. So again, we basically just have the channels that came with the radio. So how do we program this radio with channels? Now again, I did download an entire list of channels from another radio with this software. So I'd have something to work with to program. So we went back out to the receive transmit list. And you'll notice I have one called the BF F8, that was another model that I had, and I had a UV9S. I could have used either one of those. Selecting that now loads that configuration of channels plus any function or settings. So you can see on channel one, I actually have a frequency. That's one of our repeaters here locally. And uh, I think I had a total of 57 channels programmed. There's a 70 centimeter channel and frequencies to go with it, plus the encoding tone and all that that you see down through there and transmit power of high. So how do we program the radio? Now that we've got a list, we're gonna click right and off it goes. You can see the progress bar and once again, see the lights blinking on the radio and on the dongle. And in a moment when it's finished, it will reboot the radio. And we're done. We're gonna click confirm. You can see the radio rebooting there on the left. And we have programmed that radio. That's literally how easy it is as long as you have a configuration file to work from. If you've got a buddy that has a Bofang already programmed, great. Uh, you may actually have to program your Bofang first with Chirp or RT so you can get all the frequencies in there and then save it to your phone so you can program your radio or other radios. Now there are some other features on the software. There's uh, a proof of concept or beta, a point of contact, POC. Uh, but you can see beta marked all over it, and I didn't try to use any of those features. I was just interested in the programming. And we can see that the radio is in fact got our local repeater in it now. And as I go up in channels, see the channel value there in the top right corner of the purple display is going up one at a time. We have a number of uh, remote stations that use the same frequency, but eventually we'll get another frequency. There we go. 
And you can see I'm on VFO A here, and I'm just going up. So it did program the radio, and now it is ready for me to use. All the tones are in there and so forth from the configuration that I read from another radio now in this radio. Let's go to the menu, and let's set something else. Having a little bit of a problem here. Let's see if we can... Uh, <laughs> get the radio to uh, cooperate. I forgot how long you have to hold down the menu button to actually get into the menu, so. There we go. So we're looking at Squelch there, and uh, uh, you can actually program these settings as well with the software. I'm gonna do the, the uh, timeout uh, timer, which is usually set to 180 seconds. Uh, so we're in that menu now. Let's go back to the phone and let's head over to the function button and see if we can program one of the radio settings, that timeout timer. There's our function button and you can see as we scroll down a number of things that you can program on the radio. I'm gonna go into the timeout timer. We're gonna scroll down to 180. We'll eventually select that and then we're gonna write that to the radio. It's the same frequency configurations, but now we're just changing one of the settings on the radio. There we go. Now, we have a write button down at the bottom, just like we did before. And we're gonna start programming that just that one setting as an example. We can see the progress. We didn't make any changes to anything else, so really it's just programming that one menu option. And it doesn't take very long. What I love about this is that it's untethered and uh, you don't have to have a special cable. Obviously, you've got to have the dongle for these radios, but a uh, little bit more convenient than a laptop and a cable. Let's go back into the menu. Now, we're going to press the up arrow about 10 times and we'll find that the timeout timer has, in fact, been programmed to 180 seconds. And there you have it. Very convenient. I like this. This would be great to have out when you're uh, doing public appearances. You've got a new member that needs their Bofang programmed. And it's always not been a pain, but you've always had to have a laptop and your cable with you and so forth just to program the radio. With this, as long as we've got a configuration already saved on our smartphone, we can program as many of these Bofangs that are compatible with the UV5R or other models. Here I'm saving this particular configuration for this particular Bofang or Merc kit that's sold as a clone. And we're done. So what situations does this really work in? Well, once again, if you need a full configuration, you really still need to get RT Systems or Chirp. Again, I wasn't able to use their website. There may be the potential to do that over there, but I couldn't test that. So I did have to get a configuration from one of my other radios first, read from that, save it, and then program this radio. Um, so again, because it's not tethered, it's a little, much, a little bit easier to use. It's handy. Uh, the actual installation was quite good. And what I wanted to show you here is if you didn't have uh, a frequency list for your area, Chirp and RT Systems allow you, allows you to search for Peterburg uh, to get those frequencies. And here I did two meters, one and a quarter and 70 centimeters. You can then save this to a radio or the same radio. And then over time, you could actually do your updates by just using the Bluetooth dongle and not have to get the cable and your laptop out and just keep the Bluetooth dongle handy wherever you take your, uh, your Bofang radios. So I think both products have a place. I think Chirp and RT Systems is a great way to get started. And I still would recommend you learn how to use those products. But for on the fly and on the go, this OD Master Bluetooth programmer actually works a treat. I definitely would recommend it and currently it's selling for about $23 when we recorded this particular video. Well that's it for this week. Let's go ahead and sign off. I'm KY4BDP Brian for the Lake Cumberland Amateur Radio Association and uh, we hope you like this video. Check with us every Friday. Subscribe and like our videos, and thanks for watching, 73.